we're joined by UKIP's Commonwealth spokesman, Winston McKenzie, and DJ Nihal from the BBC Asian Network. Good evening to you both. Hi, How are you doing? What, are you, what did you think? Heard a lot about you. How are you good, doing? Good to see you. What, did you, what did you think about it when you heard it? Now, this guy's good, man. He's almost as good as me. Now, look, this... I'm just hearing so much about this this evening, and it's just crazy. I can, just can't understand it. From ever since the beginning of time, the Beatles, Elvis, um, the Rolling Stones, they've taken off the black man's music. Now, it, I, when I heard this song for the very first time, I thought to myself, a white boy singing Calypso, fantastic. Look, when he sang the song, when he sang the song, I had my back to the stage. And when I turned around and I saw it was Mike, I, I'm just hoping this guy will do a duo with me now, man. And we can get on. Right. He can what sing, did, what, I sing the white, the white your, song, he can sing the black song. What was your reaction, Dean? My initial reaction, Evan, was it made my ears vomit. It was the naffest thing here. I've ever heard. <laughs> now, to the best, to the best, to offensive. the best of my... There's a very big difference between naff and offensive. To the best of my knowledge, Mick Jagger never tried to sound like when singing Sympathy for the Devil, he was from downtown Trenchtown. He wasn't trying to do that. Mike Reed is some 50 or 60 something guy on Radio Berkshire trying to be down. I don't know who he's trying to be down with, but I know one thing on the BBC Asian Network, we did a debate about why people should vote UKIP or what reasons were there not to vote UKIP. Wait a minute, Winston, just relax for a second. Relax for a second, and because the song is entirely about UKIP, so you can't say it's nothing to do with UKIP. And we did this debate, and the vast majority of listeners to the BBC Asian Network said they wouldn't vote UKIP because they felt it was a racist party. Right. Now, this, this kind of thing does nothing, does it? To, no, and it, it, it's a joke, clearly. I it's a joke. But look, can I, ask you, yeah. can I ask you... Yeah. Well, it was in English. If you were a party and you were keen, given that there are people who bandy around the accusation that you're a racist party, mm. no, would, so would, the, would this be the way to persuade people that... Sure. What have, you got, have, you got, have you got Noel, Ed, have you got Noel Edmonds I'm doing like, Land of Hope and Glory? No, no, wait, come on, let, let Winston have you got Just that? listen to what Winston, I'm going to say. Go on. So I'll say give you a chance. So listen. Go on, then. Listen, this thing about UKIP and racism, this is all stems from the PC brigade, brigade and the media. You know, we've got to walk away from this thing. People have got to grow up and be sensible. And, and one guy, of your former members guy, talking about Bongo man, Bongo Land, keep presumably. Keep quiet and... and, and yeah. yeah, but, but, but I yeah. wait. I yeah. want to... I've stop, stop. Sorry, oh, no, I was just making no, points Winston, that... Referee, referee. Nihal, 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 Mr. Sorry. Chairman, yeah. tell this man yeah. to keep Nihal, quiet. Nihal, I'm ex you know. You don't get shirty with me, man. Winston, well, Winston, Winston no, Winston. <laughs> Winston. Just, just, do you think this was the way to this signal that you're not... to keep quiet. You're not a racist party. What am I doing with mixed with racists? Why would I be involved with racists? Well, I've got the fox here. You know this fox is... I'm saying, do this you fox think it is, is Nigel good Farage. Way? Do you this think it is, is the UKIP fox that's come to, to do lay you down think the um, policies that, real, that people want. The whole of Britain are screaming. They're making noise. And do now, you think it is a way guy, to persuade people that you're not a racist party, to mock up a Jamaican accent? What he's done is fantastic. And I believe that the PC brigade have to grow up and get with right. it. I'm going to put that point in all seriousness to, to Nihal. Is there a, and be a habit? No, wait, wait, wait. Be how, how, wait. Was I be, how was I disrespectful? Ni Ni Winston, Nihal, is there a, is there a, a bit too much taking offence at everything no, that I people agree. do? So I, you, it, the, the accusation of offensiveness or racism and is just really, banned. And rarely, newspapers will always kind of put forward this idea that those of us who are in ethnic minorities are easily offended, and we're not. No. We're absolutely not. I think that if you look at some of the lyrics, for instance, um, our leaders committed a cardinal sin, open the borders and let them all in. Let them all in. Now, our, wait a minute, wait a minute. Our, wait a minute. Our parents saw that created, kind of you're graffiti. Creating our parents, no, you're creating racial but, but hatred. You're creating racial hatred. But what do you think when you the hear... Guys the, 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 the guy's made a The guy's made a song. The guy's made a song. And it's a fantastic song, and he's trying to do whatever he's doing. I don't know if it's, he's trying to promote the party. I haven't got a clue. But what I know he is doing is trying to um, sing Calypso. Good luck to him. But I'll, look, I'm is he see, mimicking? I'm going to see this guy. Accent? I'm going to see this guy. Hopefully, hopefully we can do a duet together. You know. Tell me what you do good. as the Commonwealth. What, what's your title? Commonwealth spokesman. Commonwealth. Spokesman for the UK Independence Party. What, what, what positions do you take? What do you do in that role? Well, I'm in the process of staging what would be known as the Commonwealth Trade... It's known as Commonwealth Trade and Industry. And it's a huge Commonwealth trade fair that's coming to England and I'm bringing over the best part of the Commonwealth 
into the centre of London in 2015. Is that your day job? To, is that hold, your... to hold this Commonwealth Trade Fair. I'm working strenuously hard yeah. on this thing. This isn't a part-time thing, you know. You'll right. know what it takes to put on a promotion. I'm an ex-boxing promoter, but I'm into um, politics now. I'm pushing the word for the UK Independence Party to make a change How for real people. How do you get on people? with your colleagues in the party? Do you think there are any racists in UKIP? Well, I, I get on well with the governor, Nigel Farage. Yeah. Big, but you see, strong, obviously the, 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 strong Christian I'm man. I'm sure they're, very, they're, they're nice to um, her, I get on do well. You ever, do, do, you, do you ever think there may be some racists in the party? I, I, I get on well with Steve Crowder, the chairman. And all the guys, I have to say, all the UKIP guys who I mix with, who I get on with, they're 100%. These guys are down to earth. Right. You've got to see them. You've got to experience it. Can I, I think The Guardian is running with a story tomorrow. You'll know that the bloc of which UKIP is a part in the European Parliament has mm. fallen down, so they lose their funding mm. in the European Parliament. Um, the Guardian reporting UKIP is about to do a deal with a far-right racist Holocaust denier. More nonsense. Uh, from yeah, the I'm Polish Congress of the New Right. Where did you get that story? From the Guardian. Yeah, but it's not it, true or it's, yeah, it, it's not appropriate. Insanity, man. And I'm sick to death of it. Every single time it happens. And I feel sorry for my own party. How my man, my man Nigel Farage copes, I don't know. They're at his throat. Right. So you're the saying the story isn't true or that it wouldn't matter if it was true? I haven't or heard, that you wouldn't like it if it was true, but heard, it isn't true? I haven't heard a single thing about that story. And mm. I, I presume it's more lies from the PC brigade, you know. And it carries on, and this is what you're go we're going to get leading up to the elections, Ewan. It's, it's going to get worse. To do. It's, it's going to get um, worse. According to the BBC your, Asian your... Not Network audience, certainly second generation Asians, there's still a lot of work, according to my audience, that UKIP have to do in order to persuade immigrants that they are not a racist party. Okay, well, thank you both very much, uh, Winston McKenzie and Nihal. Now, for those, uh, for those of you who want the non-UKIP Calypso, at least one parody version was available. It was from Jake Yap. What's this? Are you taking the piss? Why is a white man singing like this? Saying the immigrants are to blame? Has this retro prick got no rascal shame? Oh no, oh no, you are embarrassing me so. I know you're upset and angry, but UKIP is not the way to go. Do you not feel it's a little strange that UKIP's denying climate change? They want to scrap emissions rules. What a bunch of fossil fools. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. UKIP could cause us war. It's a wolf in a barber jacket. This protest party's got to go. Vote